So here we are then folks back with another tactics video for FC24. My name is Ash or Broma18 and today we are covering Allegri's Juventus system. So with that being said, roll the intro and let's get into it. So welcome in everybody, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload if you enjoy this video and want to see more. Today we're covering Max Allegri's Juventus system. Would you believe it, the first time we've ever covered an Allegri system or an Allegri Juventus system over the course of this channel. Considering how many tactics videos I've done over the years, it is pretty shocking that this is the first time we have got to such a kind of successful dynasty and a successful manager over the years. Um, so today we're going to get stuck into it. So let's talk about the formation and the position changes to start things off. Well, you've got this kind of 3-5-2 system. It's 3-1-4-2 on the game. And you're going to want to make a couple of changes to that. First things first, obviously make sure that these guys are left and right sided midfielders. And then what you'll also want is to make sure that the central midfielders are left and right sided central midfielders as well. That's going to help more in the defensive shape than anything. And then with the two strikers, Vlaovic in this case is going to be an out and out striker, but Chiesa is actually going to be a left forward, and this is going to get him into those left sided areas uh, and those half channels and half spaces more and really help to replicate his role very accurately. Let's talk about the tactics then, but first, before we do, if you want to see how this tactic ranks on rates compared to all of the other systems that we do cover on the channel, you want to get access to exclusive tactics videos like Farioli's niece like Michelle's Hirona and a whole lot more, check out my Patreon. It is the best way to support the channel. Lots of fantastic perks on there, including Discord server access, fancy football access, behind the scenes videos, and a whole lot more. It's keeping the channel going on my Patreons. You guys are what is making me continue to do this. So I want to say a huge thank you to all of them. And if you do enjoy this video, go and check it out. The link is down below. In terms of these tactical instructions, then starting off with the defensive style, hits on pressure on heavy touch. And then the team width is on 20, making sure it's very compact. The depth is on 40, giving you more of a mid block, but on the lower end of that mid block. And then from an offensive style of play, we have the builder player on fast builder, and then the chance of creation on forward runs, a heavy emphasis on the counter attack, and on also kind of getting players moving and creating issues that way. The width is on 80, stretching it out to make sure it's nice and wide as a shape. And then the players in the box is up to five, giving you roughly three to four players in the box in crossing situations. Finally, with the corners and the free kicks, both of these are on four. Let's talk about the player instructions. Next then, starting off with Chesney in goal. He's on comes to crosses, but then his saving outside the box is only unbalanced. With the three centre backs, there are no changes at all here, so you can keep these guys as they are. And then with the two wing backs, in this case, Kostic and Cambiasso, they're both on comeback on defence. Kostic in this case is on stay wide for his chance creation and his support runs are getting behind and his support on crosses are getting to the box of the cross as that out and out wing back. Now with Cambiasso it's a little bit different. You've still got comeback on defence, uh, you've still got stay wide for the chance creation and you've still got support runs on getting behind but then his support on crosses this time are only on balanced. Now with this midfielders trio starting off with Locatelli we've got a defensive behaviour on tight mark which should be man mark. And then attack and support is on stay back whilst attacking. Uh, his defensive position is cover centre. And in positioning freedom is deep lying playmaker. McKenney in this case plays more of that box to box midfielder role. So his support on crosses are getting to the box of the cross. It's also on balance attack boys attack and support. His positioning freedom is drift wide. And in defensive position is cover wing. With Moretti over on the other side. A little bit different. Stay back while attacking. And also stay on the edge of the box for the crosses as well. His positioning freedom is stick to position. And his defensive position is cover wing. We've already spoken about Chiesa slightly. And how he likes to come out into those wide areas. We want him on drift wide for his support runs. And his attacking runs are actually on false nine. As he'll drop off and show for the ball more. He likes to carry it forward from deeper positions and drive forward with the ball and that's a really good way to get him into those areas and then finally with his defensive support it's on comeback on defense it's important that both of these strikers track back and help to form that defensive shape out of possession Vlavic on the other hand is a little bit different his support runs this time are stay central and his attacking runs are on mix sometimes looking to chauffeur kind of more direct balls and sometimes looking to run in behind despite only average pace 
His defensive support is also on comeback on defense. And so with that being said, we're ready to round off another one. If you've enjoyed this video, you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. And most importantly, check out my Patreon. You can see how this tactic ranks and rates. You can get access to exclusive tactic videos, behind the scenes videos of my scouting career and YouTube and all that good stuff. Discord server access, fantasy football league access, and a whole bunch more. With that being said, we're going to finish it there. Thank you everyone for choosing to watch this video. And until the next one, I will see you soon.